Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in the beautiful Lancashire countryside to go and stay at a holiday park just not too far from Blackpool. The holiday park is called Ream Hills and I'm going to do something I've never done before and that is glamping. And not glamping in the traditional way that you might think. I'm going to stay in a former Lynx helicopter. This should be good. Come on, let's go and check in. Do I get keys for it? Please, can all touring guests stop here to report to reception? I guess it must be here. Lodge and helicopter check-ins. Hello. Hello. Just checking in, please. Right. Amazingly, I have my own key to the helicopter. It's got a key. I've got my park map. I don't think it's going to be hard to find. Do you? Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> so I've got to go through this private gated area. A few tourers on site at the minute. I can see it. There it is. <laughs> Look at it. This looks crazy. Have I got my own parking space? Yeah, I do. Which one is it though? Is it? I think it's this one here, yeah. Wow. This is impressive. I'm questioning how I can sleep in there. I've seen some helicopter stays in this country and um, they take off the, the blades, but here they're still on. I touch it. If I jump, I might be able to. Wow. I bet this has seen some action. They have taken the blade off the back here. Look, the number's still on it. I guess you can... Can you find out where it's been and what it's been used for? Maybe. Army. Let's just have a look around the back. This is just the... I mean, like, I've stayed in a jumbo jet before. But this is something else. It's like it has just touched down. Apart from the fact it's got a TV aerial. Is that where the engine... Even the lights are still on it. It still feels so weird that I've got a key to get in here. On this side of the helicopter they've got decking and somewhere to sit on a gorgeous sunny day like today. So as this is glamping, I've got to bring everything I need. So that's towels, pillows, but believe it or not, there is like a bedroom in there, somewhere to make some food and even a microwave and a telly. Let's go in. Oh, by the way, do you like my sleeping bag? Oh, it's not this one apparently, it's this one. All oh, right, you gotta push it forward first. Wow. It is very warm in here and it's only April. I can only imagine what this place must be like in the summer. Let's give you the tour. Dump my sleeping bag on the bed. Ah, oh, so let's start with the living room. Obviously the cockpit of the helicopter. And just looking up, you can still see the glass panels above. And I guess what the, the pilot would have seen as well. <laughs> Don't know what that is. A nice little couch to uh, sit out on. Let's move that out of the way. Here's the fridge. No complimentary drinks though. Oh, it is nice and cold, especially in here when it's this warm. That's a good idea. I've got a microwave in here. Wow, that is very clean. It's so weird to see that there's electric and it's on. So a little mini worktop. I've got the, uh, the TV remote and there is also a kettle. It's glamping, so I'd have to provide my own tea and coffee. There's some storage down here. I guess it's storage, yeah, if I wanted to put anything in there. What's that? Is this a fan? Dehumidifier, maybe, I think that's what that might be, because it sounds like there's water in it. I have got a fan as well. Let's check. Let's check the TV works, because I can't lay in bed and watch the TV. Are you on? Are you working? Well, I'll try and figure that out later. So as I said, extra seating, nice little couch, 
and over here is uh, a little sink Ooh, pff, with with running water I've got a sponge bin bag a little draining board as well just shut this just to get a bit more of a perspective on it oh look everything I need I've got cups knives and forks bowls and plates quite handy how do I turn the lights on? Fire safety as well, which is very handy. This door is for emergency access only. Also, I've got heating in here if it gets a little bit cold. Wow, yeah, it's working. Which it will probably do tonight. So let's check out the bedroom. Well, this is cozy. I still can't believe this is in the back of the helicopter. I guess this is the only way to climb in but it's nice and cozy a couple of windows some curtains and some storage at the back look at that <laughs> there is even a little mini wardrobe at the back of the helicopter I know I haven't took my shoes off yet I'll do that in a minute two lights oh yeah nice and bright Still can't find where the lights are for in there, which I guess I need to... Oh, hang on, yes, I've just seen them behind the curtain. Proper light switches in here. Wow, look at that. Super bright. Just putting the kettle on. Do you want a brew? Oh, it's warm in there though. So there isn't too much on the site. There is an actual water park over there. I don't think it's currently open at the minute, but great thing about glamping and obviously caravanning is that uh, you use it as a base to go and explore the area just waiting for it to get dark now to head to bed cheers so you may notice obviously there's no shower in there so i need to go and head over here to go and look at the the facilities the water and shower block it's weird there's all these caravans here but i can't see anyone it's like they've all gone out for the day it's a nice sunny day why wouldn't you the toilet block looks like a lodge in itself. One person that's washing up. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> washing your stuff up. Okay. Laundry. So washing machine. Washing machine and tumble dryer. Time to head in then. Don't normally film toilets, but still we we'll check it out, what glamping is like. Some sinks, hair dryer, and then the showers. You can get at least two people in here. Can't wait, we'll have a shower. And of course, the last time I did a toilet review was on board Emirates, but uh, just noticed that in 2020, this won Platinum at Lou of the Year Awards. They still do that. So it is the only helicopter on site, so standard touring here. Got a big, there's some lodges here, water sports area, and I wanna go and check these out. It's not open today, but they do a fair few water activities here. And a calf around the corner. There's like a, a zip line that goes across there. I wanna go and see if I can check out those pods. There's some more glamping just around here. There's a lonely little swan. Geodomes and pods, that's them. I get to it round here. Look at these. They're like little sheds. I don't think anyone's staying in them at the minute. Now these are cool. Don't know whether you can see in there, but there's bunk beds, a little living room. So all these are named. This one's called Twilight. <laughs> they look so odd and the fact they've got a double glazing door on the front of it just seems even odder this huge decking though over the water isn't that odd nice little seating area wow can you imagine look at the views you get wow can you see inside there amazing and I think each of them get their own little private kitchen 
and shower. All right, these are so cool. Welcome to Earthshine. These remind me of the pods that you get in Lapland. Just listen to that. I've just realized that I've forgotten my pillow, which I've left at home. So I'm just gonna have to, well, I, I guess I could use these, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna lay on it. I didn't realize, but look how much headroom I've got in here as well. I can stand up comfortably. Anyway, time to roll out the sleeping bag. Better zip myself up. Can't remember the last time I was in a sleeping bag. Make sure the curtains are closed. It's actually really quiet. I'm in the middle of the countryside, I know, but I can't hear anything. We've obviously got some soundproofing in here. It's also very warm and dare I say it, it's kind of cozy and I can actually see the TV whilst I'm in bed. So I'm gonna say good night. I'll see you in the morning, good night. Well, good morning. I had an all right sleep, actually. The birds were very loud this morning. Obviously, being in the middle of the countryside, that's what's going to happen. I was very surprised. I kind of I kind of woke up in the middle of the night not knowing where I was. <laughs> and I did need to get to the toilet in the middle of the night. Yeah, that wasn't the best experience. Luckily, it wasn't raining, of course, and it was quite a walk to the toilets. But if you've been glamping before, you know that's exactly what it's all about. The location of the site from Blackpool actually is around about 15 minutes uh, but you don't feel like you're in the Blackpool area at all you just feel like you're in the uh, the countryside if you've never been glamping before it might be a bit of a culture shock um, if you have been glamping before it's still a little bit different staying in a Lynx helicopter but you've got everything you need in here apart from a shower and a toilet however I don't think I'd probably want to stay any more than maybe one night and I can tell in the summer I mean like even yesterday when the sun was on this wow was it hot there was a fan in here and obviously you can open some of the well you can open the door um, but yeah I can imagine it gets very very warm in here but equally in the in the winter there is a heater in here which kind of goes all the way through um, and does warm you up quite nice it was kind of cozy sitting in bed watching the telly I'm not gonna lie what's weird is every time I get out I feel like I have to bend because of well, I'm not exactly used to going into helicopters, but of the, the blades. Let me know if there's any weird hotels or glamping that you'd like me to try. And if you want to see what it's like to stay in a 747 jumbo jet hotel, make sure you do click the video here. Or if you'd like to see me stay in a windmill in rural Norfolk, click the video here. Please give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out enormously. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.